Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective, and today in the Wix online course series, I'm going to be showing you how to use the quizzes slash questionnaires feature in the Wix online course builder. So I'm going to be taking you step by step, showing you how to add the quizzes, how to add the different sections to the quizzes, different questions, and then where to read the results of your quizzes as people take them in your course. So let's get started. Okay, so to add a quiz or a questionnaire, you're gonna scroll down to your content here and you're going to add quiz. And then you're gonna name your quiz. So quiz one or whatever you want. And then obviously we only have one section right now, but you can add it to this particular section and then begin to build your quiz or survey. So add questions. And I'm just telling you right now, I love this. This is so great, so structured, so much better than it was before. And I was in here just earlier kind of preparing for this video and I decided to add like 30 to 35 fields and it never was like, hey, too many fields. So I think it might be unlimited, <laughs> which is amazing. It definitely goes up to 34 without any warning. So what I would do is, uh, drag and drop your header text here and edit your text to say welcome to quiz one and then you can adjust your style here adjust it to different sizes of heading or paragraph bold italic underline whatever you want and then if you want to add text below that you would add a text box and maybe say something please fill out to the best of your ability. I don't know what you want to say. And then you start dragging and dropping your questions. So we've got open-ended questions, which would be write your question here and then set a correct answer or a non-correct answer. You can add text below the space. If you want to say anything about this particular um, question, maybe like pointers, tips, hints, something like that. But here we've got set the correct answer and then so let's say that the correct answer is two then we can click show feedback so if it is correct then you're you'd want it to say well done that is correct or say sorry that's incorrect for an incorrect error message or if you wanted to say sorry the answer was two then at least you can give your participants an idea of what the right answer was Oh, sorry, I exited out of that before adding any more questions, but it did save. So I'm going to go back here to edit. And it's going to pull up my quiz again. And here you can see there's several different other question types. So we just did open-ended. We've got a number. So let's see here. As, write your question, select a right answer, or add text just like the one before. We've got multiple choice, pretty self-explanatory. Adjust your question, add options here, and then set a right answer. If you want more than one right answer, then you would use multiple choice, and then single choice would obviously just have one right answer. And then we have this really cool option to file upload. Basically, you just tell your audience, hey, upload your before and after photos or your video or audio or document here and then you can upload or set an upload limit and add text below again just like every other step here so lots of really cool features i'm going to click save and then it's going to take us back here to our quiz like little landing page here we can also set a passing grade they have to complete a score of 80% to have a passing grade. But otherwise you can just leave that empty if you don't wanna do a passing grade. Now here you can add as many steps as or as many quizzes as you want, which is really cool. Um, and then you can put them anywhere within the sequence of your steps here in this section. This has come a long way. I absolutely love it. Um, you can see the responses to these quizzes that people give as a part, as participants, you can see that as the quiz host or as the course host. Let me show you that. All right. So to see participant participation, we're going to go back to your course overview page on the 
uh, dashboard. We're going to scroll down here to manage. Now, at this point, I have not showed you how to invite people and how to add people to the actual course. So if you are following with me step-by-step -step in the series that you won't have anybody here yet, but in the future, this is where you find them. You select manage. And then you can see here, I'm the only person in here and I can view the steps that this person has completed. So as you can see here, five total steps, one completed, and I can see the quiz results here and then message directly that participant. Now, right here, it says export CSV. And when I click export CSV, it says export all participants data. And it says here that it will export their info, including progress responses, and it will be downloaded as a CSV. Now, I thought that this would give me something where it would say like, Emily answered this, this, and this on this question. Unfortunately, all it did was give me a list of the steps that I completed along with um, like codes pertaining to the certain times that I was in the website. So it didn't really do me any good if I wanted to like have like a massive CSV file where I could see all of the responses as an overview. Unfortunately, you have to come in here and look at each individual person's progress on their completed quizzes. Kind of a bummer. Something that I really hope that Wix will also take into consideration is creating a way for the quiz results to be sent to the participant themselves so that they can keep that in their course materials. Um, one, I would like that to be sent to the participant, but also to the instructor. So I did talk to Wix about that before. I know they have a lot on their plate, so we'll see if something happens with that. All right, but that is how you view your participation in the quizzes. So pretty cool, it's coming a long way. And I have high hopes for where this is headed, but yeah, get to work on some quizzes and questionnaires. All right, so that's it. Pretty simple, straightforward, and hopefully really useful to you in your course building. If you have any particular questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. But as I've said before, it's kind of hard to see everyone's particular situation in the comments. If I could see like, hey, share your screen with me quick so I can actually see what's going on, that would be a totally different story. Which leads me into my next topic. Would you be interested in like a Wix support group? Something where maybe I would host some sort of like weekly or bi-monthly Zoom call where you would just ask your questions and I could just rapid fire answer them, see your screen, you could share your screen, we'd work through the problems and we work as a group. So then everyone is learning at once and just getting their questions answered like that. If you're interested in something like that, please let me know in the comments below. I'm just trying to kind of feel out and see if this is anything that would be helpful to you. And then also, um, I am taking on some design work right now. So if you are someone that wants me to just go ahead and build out your course for you, I'd be happy to do that. If you'd like me to just design your whole website, I would love to do that as well. So contact me via my website or the link below. And yeah, I'm so happy you're here. Please stay tuned for more videos in the Wix online course course. <laughs> I guess, I guess not really a course. It's more of a series, but thanks for being here. I'll see you soon.